lately I've been talking a lot about how often I make bread in my bread maker, my iCock bread machine. I'm going to show you tonight how easy it is to make. <laughs> First I remove my mixing pan or whatever you want to call it. I have King Arthur bread flour. Here's my recipe. So we add our wet ingredients first, which is one cup of warm water, one and a half teaspoons of butter, or shortening. I like butter because I have it. That's about that much. That might be a little more. I don't mind. Three cups of bread flour. As you saw, I have the King Arthur flour hour. <laughs> nice and level as you can get it. One. Two. Three. One and a half teaspoons of salt. These handy measurers are good for that. This is a for a bread recipe. One and a half teaspoons. So this is teaspoon and this is half. One and a half. Looks like a dog bowl. Or a dog bone. Same amount of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of sugar, which I have here. One and a half. Look how easy this is. All we need now is one teaspoon of instant yeast. Now a different recipe that I tried used this whole pack which is two and a quarter teaspoons. This one only calls for one teaspoon. I have a nice other measurer here for that just to make sure I get an exact amount since I might have a little salt or sugar left on there. This is Rapid Rise Instant Yeast. You don't want to measure this over your container because you'll get a little extra probably. Measure this over the sink. Nice level teaspoon. Nice. Then we're going to make a little gully here. Look. See that little hole? Pour the yeast into there. And we're done. What do we do now? Take your pan, put it in the icock bread machine, turn it, and it locks down, see? Turn, lock, close the lid. Look how easy this is. Go up to the control panel here. We have all kinds of settings. We have basic bread. I don't know if you can see this good. Right now I'm on French bread, which is what this recipe says it is. So I'm gonna press OK for French bread. I'm going to go to the bread crust color, which you have light, medium, and dark, which I found dark is good for me. It's not really dark, it's just a good brown color. Press OK. Then the size of the loaf, small, medium, small, medium, large, large. Then you have your raisin dispenser, which is in the back here. I'm not using that today, so I'm going to... I hope you can see, I'm going to turn that to an X and say OK. And then press Start. That's it. Look. Then we let it knead and mix as needed. So you see, 3 hours and 33 minutes. The times are different for the different types of dough you're making. You might have pizza crust or regular bread or white bread, you saw it all there. Then there's a dispenser that comes out. Or raisins or whatever you want to dispense with that one mode there. I did that once, raisin bread. Or you could add it in right now while it's mixing, right? 
So that was so easy, and that's all I have to do. I could go to bed, I could go to work, come home, have a loaf of bread. So it'll mix in there for a while, then it will rise for a period of time that it knows. Then it'll mix again, and then it'll rise for a second time. And then it'll bake, and it smells good too. All right, I'll show you through the process how it goes. Easiest recipe I found so far. It's going faster now, see? So. Oh, <laughs> no peeking. <laughs> it knows what it's doing. I'll let it go. So it's been about 20 minutes and it went into rising mode. I don't want to keep peeking in there, but you see it. It's going to look rounder on the next rising after it mixes around again. And there's also a, just a dough setting where you could make this French bread and don't let it bake in here. You could take the dough out and make it long and make it long French bread, but it's going to come out the shape of the pan right now. How I have it set. Looks great. It's mixing for a second time. And then nice dough ball in there. That'll mix a few minutes and go into a second rising. There's 40 minutes left. It did all its kneading and all its rising. And look at it now. It smells so good. Let me close the lid. So it's going to bake for 39 minutes now. And when it's done, it will go into a keep warm mode for one hour. Remember, there's 25 settings. And right now this bread maker is less than $100, and I love it a lot, I use it so much. Okay, I'm gonna have good fresh homemade bread soon. Mm, I'll show you when it's done. If I fall asleep, that's okay too, because it's, it's gonna be good. I already made it before I went to bed and woke up in the morning and had a beautiful, warm, fresh loaf of bread. <laughs> I'll show you when it's done. All right, I don't know if you heard that beep, but it beeped about 10 times and bread is done. Boy, does it smell good in here. Let's look inside. Whoa, doesn't that look good? Mm-hmm. And it smells so delicious. Let's get that out. Remember? Twist and the left. Put down this cutting board here. Don't burn yourself, it's hot. It comes out really easy too, watch. Doesn't look nice. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, now we can smell it. So this is French style bread. And like I said, I could have just made the dough in there, had it knead and rise, and then took it out and stretched it to a long French looking loaf of bread. What we do now with the bread machine is use this tool and you pull out the blade down here. Find the blade. Pull it out, see? Maybe you know that. Do you? So, try not to damage it too much. Put it back together. Still a nice little bread. <laughs> That's the blade that mixes everything inside. You know that probably. I'm going to let it cool before I slice it. I just had to share it with you because I make it so often because it's so easy. And you can make up to a two pound loaf in there. I'm not sure how much that weighs. It might weigh about that much. It feels pretty heavy. You like it? I like it. All right, it cooled for a few minutes and I want to show you how it looks when you slice it. Got to get a good bread knife, serrated or however you like your bread knife. Look at this. Nice crust. Oh, you see it's still steaming. Soft in the middle. Hot. Nice. Nice crust. <laughs> Perfect. Make yourself some. I had to show you this. Beautiful, isn't it? And delicious. Can you see the steam coming off of there? Melt some butter on there now. Mm, yeah.
Oh, and I weighed it with one pound nine ounces. Okay? Alright. Thanks for watching. See you soon.